Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'll be walking you guys through a full day of training and eating on my lowest calorie day of prep so far. So I'm around three and a half weeks out from my first show of the season and it really is digging time. I'm getting that last little bit of conditioning and before we enter basically the show season where I'll have only one week gaps in between each of my shows. So this morning I woke up and I was around 78.5 kilos. So that's probably not gonna to change too much between now and uh, show one. I might lose around half a kilo, 750 grams, give or take. But basically the aim of today with nutrition is to really volumize my food and keep me satiated throughout the day. So my macros for the day are 250 protein, 200 carb and 50 grams of fat. So the goal will kind of be to maximize that as much as possible. But uh, I will say ultimately you do have to suck it up uh, because there's only so much you can do. And sometimes uh, using all of the diet foods, all of the sweeteners will just kind of exacerbate your symptoms of hunger. So this morning I, I woke up, um, it's been about an hour or two since I woke up and I've just been doing some work, had a black coffee and what I do is I usually do some steps around the house as well, especially on a more chilly, rainy morning like today. So that's been useful for me because I can get some steps in, do some social media stuff or answer some clients on my phone and it's a win-win situation. But I am going to sign off here and see you guys in about half an hour for breakfast, the first meal of the day. So we're here for breakfast and today I'll be having a version of oats which I've adjusted to suit my low day. So basically, uh, breakfast is my biggest meal of the day and uh, Tia and I are a big believer that it should be the biggest and it sets us up really nicely for training in the morning as well. So basically what I have here is sort of like a version of overnight oats, birch and muesli, yogurt oats, high protein oats, whatever you want to call it. But what I've done is the day before I have combined oats, some oat bran as well. Oat bran's a bit lower in carbs and higher in fiber. And also some chia seeds and some protein powder. And I've cooked it out in the microwave. And then I went, once it's come out of the microwave, I've added some 300 grams of low fat, high protein yogurt and some strawberries as well. Basically mix that all together and then I chuck it in the fridge overnight. And due to the casein in the yogurt um, and the casein in the protein powder I use, plus the nature of oats of course, it's all kind of thickened up really nicely into kind of like a, a big oaty cakey amalgamation which is really good for these low day mornings. And I've just heated up just now and I'll show you the finished product. So breakfast is all wrapped up. The combination of like yogurt, casein and the oats and the fruit like makes a big difference in terms of satiation and I've really been enjoying this uh, variation. So I'll head to the gym in the next uh, 45 minutes or so and what I've, I'll be training upper body today. What I've been doing is actually staggering my caffeine intake across the week. So of course I'll be using caffeine prior to this session uh, for a bit of a pick me up. And on my rest days, I've been having the lowest amount of caffeine. So dosing it at around two to three milligrams per kilo of body weight. And then on my higher calorie days, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll be having closer to like three to five milligrams per kilo based on how I'm feeling. And then today, the lowest days of the week, uh, in terms of energy and carbs, I'll be having around six milligrams per kilo of body weight. So yeah, I'll be using the Cleos pre-workout from VPA and I shall see you guys at the gym for an upper body session. Welcome to my first upper body session of the week. This one was at Well Gym Brisbane. This is where I do most of my sessions or pretty much all of them now. And the goal in these ones where I'm deprived of energy, deprived of carbohydrates, is really just to earn that maintenance or prog slight progression. And as you can see here, this is my first lift machine chest press. You really have to go close to the, or to that failure point for almost everything in order to uh, keep that progression or keep that maintenance week to week. And overall, really happy with this session. I think I did earn 
uh, a maintenance or progression on pretty much everything which is excellent at this stage being on 200 grams of carbs per day it really does help me training in the morning and I just have that extra bit of mental and physical acuity which helps a lot and then I can just come down come back home and eat my meals and work and all that kind of stuff but yeah, I'll basically leave that there for this. If you guys want any further details in regards to training, I can do a more in-depth training video on that. But uh, enjoy the rest of the workout and enjoy the little physique update at the end. Hey guys, so we are back from the gym. Overall, a really great workout. I pretty much matched or increased the reps or weight in all of my exercises, so that's a massive win um, four weeks out from my first show of the season. So now we're home and I'm going to have some post-workout. So this will be my second most carbohydrate dense meal of the day, uh, aside from breakfast. And basically what, I, what I'll be having is some popcorn, air pop popcorn. And there is definitely a misconception about popcorn. Like I, I think we often associate it with junk food or movie theaters or coated in uh, salted caramel or butter. But in reality, popcorn, popcorn is a whole grain. So I'll literally just be getting the whole grains of popcorn, chucking it in the popcorn maker and then sprinkling it with some salt because I need some sodium after that big workout. And the second portion of the meal will be just nice cream. So if you haven't heard of nice cream, basically what it is is some frozen fruit. In this case, I'm using strawberries because they're very low calorie and low carbohydrate. You should basically blend that in a blender or food processor or Nutribullet with some ice and some water as well. And of course, some protein powder. And I'll be using casein today because that makes it really nice and thick. So yeah, I'll pop a video on the screen as well so you can see how to make it. But yeah, I've been recently having this meal just because it's very voluminous um, in the scheme of things compared to what I usually eat. It's very low carbohydrate, even though it's my second most dense meal of the day. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this and check back in with you guys for my next meal. I've got quite a few check-ins to do with some clients and that fills the time nicely and of course, I like seeing how my clients are going. So see you guys soon. So it's a few hours later, put in a, some good quality work time, did some check-in, did an uh, initial dietetic consult as well, which was great. I guess something that doesn't come across in the vlogs because it's always about food and training is that whenever we're not doing training or eating, then usually we are producing content or checking in with clients, all that kind of stuff. So let us know if you would like to see more of the business side of things because it's something that we're both very passionate about. But this brings me on to the third meal of the day. And of course the current theme with it being a low day is just volumizing everything to satiate me. Not going to crazy lengths, like I'm not eating ice cubes or anything like that. Well, I kind of did in my nice cream, but not purposefully eating ice cubes. But this meal is basically going to be two components. So the first bit is some butternut pumpkin, 
with some konjac noodles and some frozen broccoli and cauliflower and I'll just spice that up. The butternut pumpkin is, is really good. It's low carb, high volume. It tastes amazing as well. I honestly prefer the taste to sweet potato and potato. And I just fry that in the pan with everything else. Uh, the other special ingredient, of course, is the konjac noodles. If you haven't heard of those, they're basically, basically almost calorie free noodles. They taste similar to, to rice noodles, similar consistency as well. And they're basically made from the konjac mushroom. So that's uh, definitely something worth trying. It can give some people some abdominal discomfort and digestive wackiness. So definitely try a small amount first and see how you go. But the other portion of this meal is the VPA egg white omelette, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. And I just topped that with some avocado. So yeah, looking forward to making this uh, because I am hungry. But uh, before I do, in other news. At this stage of prep, I'm, I'm really just consuming one of these on a low day and maybe one on a high day as well. So this is, it's really simple. I don't consume like diet sodas because I find they're a bit too Moorish for me. Like I just literally want to consume a 10 pack of them. But this is literally just some mineral water with raspberry essence. And it's, yeah, it's basically zero calories made by Sweps. And yeah, it, it finishes off this meal nicely just with a sweet touch. And the carbonation I find actually helps satiate me a bit more as well. But I'm gonna head into the kitchen and enjoy this meal. Hey guys, so we are here with the final meal of the day, which is dinner. And because this is the last meal prior to bed, it's around 6.30ish right now. We typically head to bed pretty early at around 8.30. And I try and eat around two hours prior to bed because that sits well with my stomach. And basically what we have here is a sort of kangaroo stir fry. And what I've done is just cooked up a heap of veg, like a lot of veg, probably 15 to 20 serves. And I fried that. I add a little bit of water to the bottom of the pan to help soften the veg. And then I basically add some kangaroo mince and I add a egg on top as well once the kangaroo mince is cooked through. And then to finish it up, I add some cottage cheese. And I've only recently started having cottage cheese for the first time ever, and I'm a big fan. So if you've ever been put off by cottage cheese but never tried it, I highly recommend. But the reason why I have this meal specifically now is because it's the most voluminous. It'll keep me satiated throughout the night. And actually, after some input from you guys, I have increase the calories in it slightly. So I did add the egg, I added the cottage cheese as well. So more protein, more dietary fat, and I'll also be having some fish oils as well to round things off. So three fish oils, um, four, four and a half grams of fat from those. But yeah, before this cools down anymore, I'm going to eat it and basically sign out here. So I hope this was an insightful video for you guys seeing what it's like to be on the lower end of prep and training without many carbohydrates, for me at least. And hopefully you guys can take something away with away from it. But if you did enjoy the video, please remember to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for videos to come, please let us know. And I will see you again soon.